T-Rex is the undisputed king of prehistoric horrors. A menacing monster that's 60 feet long, with teeth and a jaw that crushed smaller dinosaurs in mere seconds. The terrifying T-Rex has dominated our collective imagination since paleontologists first pulled its big bones out of the dirt. But was it really the biggest, baddest predator of prehistoric times? These 20 real-life primitive monsters put the mighty T-Rex to shame. Number 20. Mega Piranha The Mega Piranha was a straight shot of nightmare fuel to the heart. A massive, toothy fish that swam through waters at lightning speed. Stretching over three feet long, these enormous fish hunted the ancient Amazon River during the Miocene Epoch. Mega Piranha were apex predators that lived predominantly off the smaller dinosaurs and archaic creatures that were unlucky enough to dip a toe in the Amazon. Our next pick preferred to stalk the open ocean. Number 19. Leviathan Another monstrous specimen from the Miocene Epoch, Leviathan was the colossal ancestor of today's sperm whale. Except massive, mean, and most likely cannibalistic. The Leviathan was one boss whale, stretching an imposing 57 feet long with a 10 foot long skull. This swimming nightmare had 40 teeth that were all over an inch long, topping the T-Rex in both tooth length and bite strength. Since the Leviathan reigned supreme over the seas, it had its pick at the food supply, which often included baleen whales, making this creature the ultimate marine cannibal. Number 18. Meganeura When it comes to creepy crawlies, Meganeuria took the cake during the Carboniferous period. This insect is related to the modern dragonfly, with a ghastly twist. Its wingspan was a jaw-dropping two feet long. Meganeura were carnivorous creatures, whose appetite included less adept insects and even smaller animals. These flying fiends had an interesting way of ensnaring their prey, grabbing them with sticky, spiny legs and carrying them away for lunch. If enormous insects aren't frightening enough for you, check out our number 17 pick. Number 17. Dunkleosteus. This 30-foot long fish was the swimming armoured car of the late Denovian period and had the double threat of an impenetrable body and an astonishingly sharp beak that could cut through iron bars with ease. The Dunkleosteus was a skilled assassin slaughtering other animals and its own kind with equal zeal. Although it lived 360 million years ago, the Dunkleosteus was an evolutionary miracle, equipped at both defending itself and preying on other marine creatures. One thing is for certain, we are very happy they are still not stalking the seas today. Number 16. Megatherium Aren't sloths super cute? Not so much in prehistoric times. The Megatherium is the ancient ancestor of the sloths we know today. But it was not chilled out at all. This creature was perpetually annoyed and had the capacity to wipe out other animals with one swipe of its enormous clawed hand. The mammoth Megatherium was the size of a modern elephant and stalked the ground looking to pick a fight. Megatherium lived in South America during the end of the Pleistocene era, meaning that it might have interacted with the earliest recorded humans. Number 15. Thorachacid Also known as terror birds, these flightless fiends lived up to their nicknames. Although they couldn't take to the skies like some other prehistoric birds, Thorachacid were adept at wreaking havoc on the ground. They were enthusiastic carnivores and stood 10 feet tall. But what was most terrifying about them was their incredible speed. Thorachacid could run 30 miles an hour, easily overtaking any prey they desired and were a top predator of their time. Fortunately, this creature went extinct somewhere in the Cenozoic era, making it unlikely that you will run into one outside of your nightmares. Number 14. The Lato Archon This apex ichthyosaur was a dolphin from hell. It resembled modern dolphins today, except for its insatiable bloodlust. Massive size and 4-inch teeth with razor-sharp edges. 
the terrifying Thalato Archon stretched a full 28 feet long, and their jaws were massive, allowing them to feast on animals roughly their size. They were also remarkably agile, zipping through the seas with ease. These marine monsters were dominant during the Middle Triassic period, but soon replaced by more fearsome marine animals. Number 13. Jekyllopterus The early Devonian period was a heyday for all kinds of watery, creepy crawlies, and the Jekyllopterus was no exception. It was an eight-feet sea scorpion that scurried along the bottom of the ocean. Picture a modern scorpion that's well over the average height of a human, and you'll have some idea of context for exactly how horrifying the Jekyllopterus was. Just like scorpions of today, Jekyllopterus had snapping claws, and given their size, they could easily slice a person in half. The largest claw fossils discovered are 18 inches long. We'd hate to meet one of these armoured monsters lurking in the muck, but our number 12 pick is light years worse. Number 12. Sarcosuchus This distant granddaddy of the modern crocodile was so fearsome and massive that it's generally nicknamed Super Croc. Sarcosuchus measured an astounding 40 feet long and weighed 8 tons. It stalked lesser dinosaurs during the early Cretaceous period, crushing them to a paste in its powerful jaws. The Sarcosuchus could crush 18,000 pounds per square inch, making it a formidable opponent. Number 11. Leopleurodon A Jurassic period marine giant, Leopleurodon was a carnivorous force of nature that stalked the seas during this time. Commonly mistaken for a dinosaur, Leopleurodon is actually a type of plesiosaur. Large reptiles that roam the seas, notable for its size and sheer jaw power. This creature was also incredibly skilled at swimming. The Leopleurodon was equipped with massive flippers that allowed it to navigate the seas with precision and speed. Like most fearsome animals, the Leopleurodon was a carnivore, and its appetite for smaller creatures was aided by its several sharp teeth and strong jaw. Do you think that staying out of the seas would help keep you alive in prehistoric times? Think again. Our number 10 pick proves that monsters were just as prolific on land. Number 10. Arthropleura If run-of-the-mill millipedes give you the shivers, wait until you get a load of Arthropleura. This beastly bug was a full eight and a half feet long, and was the largest land invertebrate that we know about. That's right, this insect was much longer than the average human is tall, and it skulked around the forest floor, devouring plant material and scaring the crap out of anyone unlucky enough to wander into its path. Although Arthropleura was a herbivore, it was still fearsome. Aside from the squicky reality of a person-sized bug, the Arthropleura could probably rear up on its many back legs and packed a hell of a poisonous punch from its front pincers. Number 9. Helicoprion This nasty shark is what you get when you combine an animal with a circular saw and give it rain over the seven seas. Helicoprion had its heyday during the Permian and early Triassic periods, and we can only speculate but it was a carnivorous creature that feasted on smaller animals, grinding them up to smithereens in its sadistic circular saw of rotating teeth. The only relics that paleontologists have unearthed from these animals are their fossilized teeth, making Heliocoprion a monster mystery for the ages. Number 8. Pulmonoscorpius This land scorpion is smaller than its maritime cousin, but it's earned a higher place on this list due to sheer ferociousness. The Pulmonoscorpius was two feet long and ran rampant during the Carboniferous period. In addition to its fearsome pincers, Pulmonoscorpius also had a deadly venom that paralyzed its prey, before this demonic scorpion literally sucked out all of its bodily fluids. In another horrific twist, Pulmonoscorpius had excellent eyesight, making it an apex hunter. Number 7. Gorgonops This terrifying therapsid roamed the Earth 260 million years ago during the late Permian period. It was 10 feet of packed muscle 
and two huge fangs that protruded well below its massive jaw. The Gorgonops came at an evolutionary intersection, so some believe it was both a warm and cold-blooded animal, making it even creepier than meets the eye. Gorgonops may or may not have had hair, but it did have enormous sharp teeth and an exceptionally powerful jaw, useful for chomping through the hides of any herbivores that wandered into its path. Number 6. Arctodus Although our number 6 pick might sound like a cute Pokemon character, it was anything but cuddly and fluffy. Arctodus was an ancient carnivorous bear that was at least twice as large as a modern polar bear and stalked the Golden State during the Pleistocene Epoch. Also known as the Short-Faced Bear, these mammoth mammals were the original California residents, and many fossils have been found all over the region. The Arctodus's not-so-secret weapons were its bone-destroying jaw and the 1,800 pounds of muscle that it used to annihilate prey. Number 5. Andrusarchus This innocently named mammal was actually a nightmare hybrid of hippo and whale, making it a big, mean killing machine. The king of the Eocene Epoch, Andrusarchus, was a predatory powerhouse with a three-foot head and a bite strength comparable to that of the T-Rex. Our next pick has been popularised in television and movies, and might even still be lurking in the depths of our chilliest seas. Number 4. Megalodon Take the shark of your wildest nightmares and supersize it. Congratulations! You have something that might resemble the mighty Megalodon. The scourge of the Seven Seas during the Miocene and Pliocene eras, Megalodon was an imposing presence to say the least. Measuring more than 60 feet and clocking in at well over 100,000 pounds, larger megs could even weigh up to 100 tons. This mega shark was the undisputed ruler of the seas during its time, gulping down other sharks, whales, and pretty much anything else it wanted. In a bone chilling twist, the monster megalodon might still be lurking in the Earth's trenches. Who can say for sure? Number 3. Titanoboa This larger than life snake measured 40 feet long and weighed in at 2,500 pounds making it the largest snake that ever slithered the planet, and the true stuff of your darkest night terrors. Titanoboa reigned during the Paleocene Epoch, filling in the hole that the dinosaurs left when they went extinct, and quickly rose to the top of the food chain. Titanoboa lurked in South America, killing prey by constricting it and swallowing it whole. Number 2. Mosasaurus Of all the creatures of the Cretaceous period, Mosasaurs were the most fearsome. Spanning a full 60 feet, Mosasaurs were like enormous saltwater crocodiles, equipped with fins to maneuver through the water and gulp down their prey. Mosasaurs were terrifying demons of the deep, often lurking in the cooler layers of the ocean before rising up to suck down their prey. Mosasaurs lived in virtually every ocean in the world, and their reign was only cut short when bigger and more powerful predators came onto the scene. Our last and final pick proves that the worst monsters might not be in the water, but in the air. Number 1. Quetzalcoatlus What do you get when you mix a stalk with a reptile and stretch it 16 feet tall? The answer is the flying horror show we know as Quetzalcoatlus. It was a type of powerful pterosaur that blotted out the sun during the late Cretaceous period. With a 30-foot wingspan, this big bird was able to cover huge distances without getting winded, and it was just as formidable on the land. The Quetzalcoatlus was an enthusiastic carnivore, swooping down and scooping up smaller land and sea dinosaurs with its powerful beak, or chasing its victims down on powerful long legs, ruling the land and sky. Quetzalcoatlus was a mega monster. Which of these did you find most fascinating? Let us know in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe to What Lurks Below.